Hi there crafty friends, it's Chantel. I just want to come on and uh, do a few videos. I think I'm going to do a few videos so they'll be separate. I've received quite a few uh, swap items, some happy mail. And um, I wanted to, uh, you know, do the video so that you could see what I received. And to also just say thank you to um, the swappers. This here is my altered mailbox. This came from Gloria, who is GG Scrapping here on YouTube. And uh, this swap was hosted by Betty, who is Scrap Passion 01. So um, I don't want them to be long videos, so I'll just go through. This is really pretty. I don't know if the box was a red box originally or if she um, painted it. It looks like it was originally red, which is really cute because red is my favorite color. It's Valentine's thing, so, you know, red is appropriate for that also. But here she put some um, beaded trim all around the edges. She's got some heart-shaped lace here on the bottom. You see that paper there? She just went all the way around the entire tin. She has a grouping of flowers on there. Very pretty. I love this, too. Um, this stamp. Looks like it was stamped in white and then she went over it with pink. And that's on the front and on the back of it. It's so cute. Some flowers on the back too. It's very pretty. She um, left the inside empty. There's nothing on the inside. But it's very pretty. So I've got that from her. And then she made me a few more things. And this I just need to <laughs> put the head back on. <laughs> the uh, cupid his head fell off and this might go here on the end a heart on the end of his hand but I need to put those back on but the frame is what is so adorable she altered this for me and um, inside the frame it says handmade with care for me to you sprinkled warmth and caring into the glue you see with this you see with these things holding it together it's just like the bond of crafters. It will last forever. That is cute. Handmade from the heart. I watched Gloria's video too and she was saying how, you know, if I wanted to take that out and put something else in, that would be fine. But, oh no, Gloria, that is staying in there. And I am going to put my Cupid back together and he is going to sit up on my, um, somewhere in my craft room where I can sit him and see him. Because, again, there's the reds, my favorites. So, yeah, that's that. We also decided to gift each other with Valentine's themed items. And so she sent me this pack of stickers. They're um, like the, the tag stickers. I think this probably came from the dollar store because I believe I have some of those. But you could never have too much, right? And then some red bottle caps. Cute. And then I have this bag here. It's got this wood blocked stamp says kisses some ribbon red heart ribbon and a bottle cap with the charm on the end isn't that cute look at the heart and the key key to my heart very pretty i like that and i can use that on a project at some point oops sorry I'm trying to adjust myself here and then she sent me this cute bag. It's got heart shapes all over it. It's very pretty. And then it is just stuffed with stuff. So exciting. So I have uh, inspiration flunches. These are like some stone pieces, rhinestone pieces. Oh, right here. Let's see. Dimensional stickers. That's cute. I have some uh, self adhesive rhinestones. Cute. These I really, really like. They're like knit flowers. There's the front. Can you see it? I thought these were so cute. 
I don't know if um, if you all follow me on um, Facebook or not, but I am newly addicted to crocheting, and this looks like something that I could crochet. Isn't it cute? So I got those, and then she has another altered, uh, another frame. This is just a heart-shaped frame, probably for me to alter, which is nice. Very pretty. I like that silver. And then she made me a flower, a uh, ribbon material flower with some bling in the middle. Pretty. And then what I thought was the cutest was this cute little bag she made with paper and on the inside it's got like little cards in it there's like three of them I think yeah how cute is that it must be like a die cut or something she has and it made this cute little card so I've got three of those that I can that I can use and there's her stamp on the back created by Gloria Pearson so that was really cute. Thank you so much, Gloria. I enjoyed this swap. I am so happy that I um, <laughs> asked at the post office. Gloria knows about this, but her package came, and I don't know how long it had been there. I had been looking for it. Couldn't find it. She told me that she sent it. And um, I didn't get a, a, a stamp in my post office. I used the P.O. box saying that, you know, it was there. So I asked at the counter, and they went back there, and I had two packages back there. That had been back there for who knows how long. But um, one came from overseas. And when I got home with it, it was labeled return to sender. Could you imagine if a package from overseas would have gotten sent back because they they neglected to put in my box a notice to come to the counter for a package? <laughs> well, anywho, I did receive everything. So that was awesome. And again, here are the items. And Gloria, thank you so much for swapping with me. I had such a good time. And um, yeah, this was so much fun. Thank you again. Bye-bye.